What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, I have another WWE action figure set up for you guys, and it is WrestleMania 35 edition. So in today's video, guys, we do have another WWE action figure set up for you guys. Unfortunately, I do not have the full arena set up because uh, the arena is gone right now and I am in the middle of a big time matchup and I cannot spoil it. I don't want to move everything and ruin it for you guys. So we're just going to stick into the backstage area. You know, I think it's better when we stay in the backstage. You know, it gives it more of a realistic feel. WrestleMania 35 is this weekend. I'm super pumped for it. Biggest show of the year. And it's going to be a long one, but it's going to be a good one. A lot of great matches on this show. If you guys missed my predictions from yesterday definitely go check those out i'm gonna take you through this entire setup we're gonna start off on the left corner and go all the way through like we always do so let's go ahead and get started over here in the corner all right, guys, so we're going to start things off in the corner with Shane O'Mac. You're probably wondering why he's in a wheelchair, or you probably do know why. We got the WrestleMania 33 opponents squaring off right here, or around each other right here. But Shane O'Mac, this really doesn't have anything to do with each other, but Shane O'Mac is in the wheelchair because he is in a Falls Count Anywhere match with The Miz, right? So in that Falls Count Anywhere match, I'm sure that he is going to bail off of some sort of high thing or something, and they're going to have him on medical watch, so they're going to be like, Shane, you need to rest, you need to chill out you need to you know we need to monitor you a little bit so go ahead and then just chill out man so i don't think he's gonna get hurt per se i'm just saying I, I don't think he's gonna get hurt or anything i'm just saying that with his high risk and everything they're gonna have him monitored they're gonna be like chill out here in the area and let us monitor you so that you know we can make sure that you're all right because you took a beating in that false count anywhere match and i think he will and i think he's gonna lose i don't think he's gonna beat the miz i think the miz will win maybe miz's father gets involved or something and the miz does beat shane O'Mac. Moving to the right just a little bit, guys, we have AJ Styles, the phenomenal one, and he is a little bit depressed here, and he's also in the medical unit because him and Randy Orton went rounds, man. I mean, they went head-to-head. -head. They went all out on each other, and AJ Styles came up short. He went for that springboard 450, and he got caught out of nowhere with a devastating RKO, and now he is in the medical unit because Randy Orton defeated him. I think that Randy Orton is going to defeat AJ Styles. Should be an epic clash. It's probably one of the matches that I'm the most looking forward to, and I think it's going to end with AJ Styles getting his and Randy Orton moving on to the WWE Championship picture. Just beyond AJ, guys, we have the man Seth Rollins, my boy, and the big dog Roman Reigns, and the, the big dog is checking on Seth because Seth did come up short against Brock Lesnar, guys. I just do not see Brock Lesnar dropping the Universal Championship as much as I want to see it and as much as it would be amazing to see Seth Rollins with that Universal title. I don't know, man. I'm just not seeing it. I, I just don't think they're going to do it. So, Seth Rollins is all beat up. He's got the towel on, man. He's all beat to hell. He's sweating to death. And he's trying to cool off here and just, you know, console himself while Roman Reigns, his boy, checks on him there, his brother from the Shield. So Roman Reigns checking on Seth Rollins. And hopefully, you know, Seth Rollins does win. I'm going for Seth Rollins, but I don't know, man. I just don't see it. You know how WWE is with their precious Brock Lesnar. So I, you know what? I'm praying for it. I'm, I'm hoping for it, but we'll see. Coming forward a little bit, we have my boy, the Demon Finn Balor, and this is pretty obvious, guys. I mean, if you don't think Finn Balor's walking out of WrestleMania with that Intercontinental Championship, then you're insane, man. He's going to be a two-time Intercontinental Champion last year at WrestleMania 34. He did come up short against Seth Rollins and The Miz, but this year, he is going to capture the Demon, will show up at Mania, take what's his, and be a Intercontinental Champion. So he's got the tongue out. He's excited. The Demon is going wild at Mania. We got Demon Mania running wild tonight, guys, and Finn Balor is feeling great. So there's the Demon ho hoisting up the Intercontinental Championship. As we come forward here, we have my man John Cena, and John Cena is, you know, he he's not rumored, he's not advertised, he's not anything for WrestleMania 35. So this is what I think is going to happen. Maybe Trash Corbin and Kurt Angle come out for their match. Kurt Angle, Kurt Angle being one of my favorites of all time, he is having his farewell match, and it does suck. Nobody wants to see him and Trash Corbin go one-on-one, -on -one, especially me. I can't stand Trash. I think he's just terrible and awfulness, awful, terrible. However, I think that maybe John Cena will save us. Maybe John Cena comes out and helps Angle. Maybe John Cena just shows up out of nowhere and saves the day, and that's what we got here, you know, paying homage to Kurt Angle, paying respects to him. You know, John Cena made his debut against Kurt Angle, and now Kurt Angle is going to thank John Cena for his farewell match. I think it's good storytelling. It feel, it's a feel-good moment at WrestleMania, and, you know, it, it would be great to see. So that's sort of represented here in this little setup between the two men. 
Going to the right a little bit, we have Ronda Rousey beating the hell out of Charlotte Flair, and they're beating each other up because of what is behind. We have Becky Lynch winning the SmackDown Live and Raw Women's Championship. So both of them are just pissed off at each other. You know, they're like, how the hell could you let this happen? How the hell could you let this happen? Would you say hobag? Would you say bish? Would you say? And then they just tie up, and then we get a circus like we got on Monday Night Raw the other night. When they both get arrested, they're just going around the arena beating the hell out of each other. And then Becky Lynch is back here conducting an interview because she actually won the matchup like we all wanted. She's the undisputed women's champion of WWE. We're going to unify the titles. We're going to unify the women's divisions, and we're going to get an undisputed champion moving forward. Great looking stuff, man. The titles look wonderful on my girl Becky Lynch. Definitely my favorite current woman of the day, and it sucks to see everybody just jumping on the bandwagon all of a sudden, man. Where, where's this been? You know, about like a year ago, where, where was this at? People liked Becky Lynch, but now everybody just wants to come over, man. What, what is that? Just kidding, but seriously, I do love Becky Lynch. I think she should win this matchup, and uh, I, I think that Ronda and Charlotte are going to... I, you know, it's rumored that Ronda is supposed to go away, so we'll have to see what happens with that, what happens with Charlotte moving forward. I'm, I'm very excited to see where the women's divisions go after this main event here at WrestleMania 35. Going a little bit to the right, guys, we have Paul Levesque or Hunter Hearst Helmsley, Triple H, with his wife, Stephanie McMahon, after, you know, defeating D Batista. He's never defeated Batista. We got a babyface Triple H this year at WrestleMania, which kind of just sounds weird, but he is going to be the babyface heading into this thing, and Triple H is going, this isn't going to be his last match. You know, his career is on the line in this no-holds-barred match with Batista, but I don't think he's going to lose, guys. So after that matchup, he's here with his wife. You know, all is well. He feels good about himself. He defeated the animal, and that is how I think this will go afterwards, you know, conducting with his wife. You know, we did it. We defeated the animal. Never done that before, so they are together here as a supportive couple. Coming forward here, we have Samoan Joseph with the United States Championship because he's not going to lose it, guys. You know, Rey Mysterio battling with an ankle injury. Here he is in the corner in a wheelchair because he is uh, literally battling an ankle injury. Somebody, one of my boys told me that he is actually in a boot. He saw Rey Mysterio in New York, got some sources up there in New York, and he said that he saw Rey Mysterio and he had a boot on. So that is actually pretty interesting that Rey Mysterio does have a boot on. Is he going to be able to go on Sunday night? That is sort of what we're representing here as Rey Mysterio is in the wheelchair. Samoa and Joseph still United States champion because I think he will retain, whether it's Rey Mysterio, whether it's Kevin Owens, whether whether it's whatever, even though that would be sick AF. Can you imagine Kevin Owens replacing Rey Mysterio? I'm for it. Push push for that. But I think Samoa Joe will retain. So I'm going with Samoa and Joseph to retain the U.S. title, and he's walking around as the big man on campus. Coming behind, we have Aleister Black and Ricochet, or Blackashay, if you will, and they're sort of breaking off here. You know, they came up short against the Revival. They came up short against the War Raiders, is what I'm predicting, and they will come up short against the Usos. So they're just sort of breaking it off, man. I think they'd be a lot better as singles wrestlers. They should have never been a tag team in the first place to begin with. So I think that Aleister Black and Ricochet will go their separate ways. They're, they're not, you know, there's no hard feelings here. They're just separating. They're talking about, they're like, you know, man, I think we'd be better off by ourselves. So let's just take it easy. Let's let's move on and maybe I'll see you down the road or something. So they, they're going to end things between each other here, but the future is bright for both of these guys. I love it. I think Aleister Black needs to be his own guy. Ricochet could easily be a huge baby face on Monday Night Raw or or SmackDown Live, preferably SmackDown Live, but you know, it is what it is. They're going to break things off here. Just beyond that, we have Braun Strowman with his newly won Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal Trophy. I think he will win it this year, guys. I say it every year that he's going to win, but this year has to be the year, right? I mean, if he doesn't win it, then who who's going to win? Bray Wyatt going to return? Is, is Sami Zayn going to return? I don't think so. I think they're going to save that for Monday Night Raw and SmackDown Live after Mania, and Braun Strowman will finally defeat his SNL terrible, just terrible terrible opponents for Mania, and Braun Strowman will finally win that Andre the Giant trophy. Just by, beyond that, though, we have one of his rivals, the Beast Incarnate, Brock Lesnar. This goes back to what we were talking about earlier. I think Brock Lesnar is going to retain the Universal Championship. As much as I don't want to see it, guys, he is going to retain. He looks good walking down the hallway here. Nobody wants it. You know, we want the Reign of Terror to be over with Brock Lesnar, but it is, again, man, I just, I just don't see it. So I think that the Universal Champion is going to stay here on Monday Night Raw, or should I say just he's not going to be on Monday Night Raw at all. He's just going to remain champion, and the title will continue to be absent, but I'm going to be going for Seth, like I said, but I just don't see it happening there. But there is the Beast. 
Over here we have Randall Keith Orton, my boy, in the corner, and this is after defeating AJ Styles, right? So he is just sort of collecting himself. He knows how confident and cocky he is, and if you guys see, he's looking across the arena because he has his eyes on a certain prize now, and that is Kofi Kingston, who is the new WWE Champion. Yes, he is the new WWE Champion. You guys can see here he's getting hoisted up by Big E and his New Day brothers, Xavier Woods, the Usos, the Hardy Boys, you know, a bunch of baby faces here. Just just helping him celebrate and you know just just putting him over here and they're lifting him up there it's all good it's a great mania moment but the the viper randy orton is not you know he's not amused man he, he beat aj styles so now he is ready he gets that surge of momentum he's moving on to the wwe championship picture and i think that will be our program moving on into the summer right here we have batista and dean ambrose leaving because their time is over i don't know if batista plans on staying around after his match with triple h he said that he wanted to stay around and do some live events and stuff, but I don't know how much of that is true given that, you know, they, they didn't really sign him to a big deal, I don't think. I don't think his time will be long, so maybe he'll pop in for Mania, get his paycheck, and be out. And then, of course, the rumors of Dean Ambrose leaving after Mania. Is it a work? I think it truly is, you know, a real deal. I think he is going to be leaving. I don't know where he's going. Is he going to AEW? Is he going to a different promotion? Can't wait to see what Dean Ambrose's future holds, but I don't think he will be in the WWE, so he is outie. He is hitting that exit door with Batista and they will be out. And then our sort of final part of the setup is WrestleMania's hosts or, or the musical talents or whatever the hell you want to call it. We got Alexa Bliss, Elias, and Kevin Owens. And if my predictions are correct, I think all three of these people will be tying all together in storyline all throughout the night. You know, at the beginning, in the middle, all the different segments backstage, all the segments in the ring. I think that Elias, Kevin Owens, and Alexa Bliss will definitely be getting to know each other a lot here on WrestleMania 35, given, you know, that Kevin Kevin Owens does have a matchup unless they add him to the U.S. title match, which just doesn't seem accurate at this point. Elias is the musical host, and Alexa Bliss is the current host, you know, the, like uh, like The Rock has been in past years, The New Day that one year. So I think that them three will all three be locking up during the night, you know, going through different segments, re, uh, you know, interacting with each other. So that is pretty much it. We covered Kofi Kingston winning the WWE Championship, getting hoisted up by his, his New Day brothers and everything. We've covered Be Becky Lynch in the middle. And that pretty much does it for this WrestleMania WWE action figure setup, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys are looking forward to the show on Sunday, please let me know. Who's ready for NXT TakeOver, man? This is going to be an excellent show. I can't wait for all of the epic wrestling this weekend. I really just want to buy a plane ticket, fly up to New York for access in the Superstore, buy some merch, and get the hell out of there. But I'm not sure. I'm still trying to decide. I may just drop everything and go and just spend a day up there and then come back. I'm not sure what I'm going to do just yet. But, um... What a great setup, what a great night, what a great weekend of wrestling it should be. And I can't wait. You guys know I'm going to review the show afterwards. We're going to go through every single card. We're going to go through the entire matchups, and it's going to be good stuff. But hopefully we get some good attires. I plan on doing a Seth Rollins custom and a Finn Balor custom and potentially a Batista, Randy Orton, and AJ Styles customs, depending on what their attires look like. But I am for sure doing the Demon, and I am for sure doing Seth Rollins attire. So you guys can look forward to that after Mania. But thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy the setup video. Subscribe to the channel for more more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.